Coinbase is dead. But there's a problem. Most people, when they want to buy a cryptocurrency for the first time, they Google something like the best way to buy crypto. Then the results show various options like Coinbase, Binance, you know, the popular things, or even worse, Robinhood. And this is an okay solution, it's okay. But there are much better options that use the very tech that you're buying into, cryptocurrency, to make purchasing cryptocurrency safer with far better security, more fair without any kind of market manipulation, and they do so with lower trading costs than traditional crypto exchanges. This is done with decentralized exchanges, or DEXs. So let's talk about how DEXs will disrupt multi-billion dollar industries in the future, and how in the meantime, you can save a few bucks on your next crypto buy using them. Also, I need to thank the sponsor of this video, myself. I just wanna take a minute to talk about the Patreon that we've been building. If you're an investor either in stocks or cryptocurrency and you want a community of other knowledgeable investors, you can bounce ideas off. If you want my buy alerts, if you want my research notes from my various videos that you do, if you want private live streams, you gotta join the Patreon that is linked down in the description. Now to set up this whole video, we need to first talk about traditional centralized exchanges. These are those typical exchanges you hear about, Binance, Coinbase, KuCoin, Kraken, Gemini, the big companies that you hear about all the time who are making tons of money. Here's how a centralized traditional exchange works. And don't worry, we're gonna keep it non-technical, so just stay with me here. So first off, you deposit money or some kind of cryptocurrency into an exchange. The exchange is now a custodian of your asset. You can kind of think of it like you have a gold bar and you're storing it at your friend's house in their safe. They're a custodian of your gold bar. That's kind of what these crypto exchanges are doing for your crypto assets. Now you decide, you know what? I think Elon is feeling frisky today. Grimes is in a good mood, so Elon's in a good mood, and he might just go ahead and mess around and move the whole crypto market with a tweet. So you think, I'm gonna buy $69,000 worth of Ethereum like a true American should. So you place a market order of Ether. The order goes into the exchange's order book where it matches you with a seller or multiple sellers who are selling $69,000 worth of Ether. The transaction settles, you pay a $345 fee to Coinbase, Brian Armstrong's net worth goes up, and you're now a proud owner of Ether. Also, if you're a fan of the drawings and diagrams that I painstakingly make for these videos, you'll be happy to hear that you can now get your very own Max Bucks t-shirt, hoodie, or tank top fresh off the press. They actually look awesome and they're really high quality material, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. I've ordered a ton of them. It's a limited run though, so if you want one, you have to buy before July 9th when the line completely closes. And this is great, but we can do better. Let's change the scenario and say, say you saw that video of Vitalik Buterin rapping. Every team and every project we could get far. Subvergic biologic, we work like a bazaar, yeah. And now you're like, yeah, I'm out. I wanna sell my $69,000 worth of Ethereum because what is that, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so this time you decide to use a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, the biggest DEX on the Ethereum network to facilitate the trade. Here's how that works. So you connect your wallet to a DEX like Uniswap, Venus, or PancakeSwap using either a service like MetaMask or a hardware wallet like Ledger, which I have linked down in the description if you want a good hardware wallet. Your funds stay in your wallet. The DEX never holds your money. The DEX is not a custodian of your money. It's only a platform, unlike a centralized exchange. The money stays in your wallet. Your wallet is connected, and now you place a sell order for $69,000 worth of Ether in exchange for $69,000 worth of USDC. Because again, you can't tolerate Vitalik's wrapping. You need to get out of this. Yeah. It's also an important note that DEXs can't exchange fiat currencies like the US dollar. The closest thing to the US dollar that you can exchange in a DEX is a stable coin like USDC. A USD stable coin is backed one to one with the US dollar. So you place your order and it goes through an algorithmic order book on the DEX. This is then executed by a smart contract. Now we love smart contracts on this channel. I'll link a video above with more information on those if you aren't yet well versed. They are extremely exciting. Once the seller and the buyer are matched, the smart contract automatically executes the trade and the trade is executed. The funds in your wallet are now swapped with the buyer's wallet and the trade is simply done. Now the exciting part is not only did you not need to trust a custodian like Coinbase or Binance, you just performed the exact same trade for 90% cheaper. 
This transaction costs only $34.50 as opposed to the $345 fee with Coinbase. Now this isn't the whole story. There are some cons to decentralized exchanges that you do need to know about. So let's cover the pros and the cons of centralized versus decentralized exchanges. First up, we have risk of hacks, and the winner is decentralized exchanges. With a traditional exchange, you're relying on the security of the platform. There are numerous examples of centralized exchanges being hacked, including CoinCheck being hacked for $534 million. With decentralized exchanges, you are the only one who knows your private key. user-friendliness and usability. And centralized exchanges win here by offering fiat payments, customer support, and ease of use for beginners. <laughs> DEXs offer no assistance if you lose your wallet's password or need any help whatsoever. This generally means centralized exchanges are better for beginners. Reliability. Centralized exchanges again take the cake here due to their popularity. They currently have far more liquidity, which means more reliable transactions. However, this is something that may change as DEXs become more popular. Transaction fees, and the winner by a landslide are DEXs. Coinbase is a $50 billion business for a reason, people. It's because they print cash, folks. DEXs can charge as little as one-tenth as much as a traditional exchange charges. The ability to remain anonymous. And of course, DEXs absolutely conquer this category. DEXs require no KYC forms and allow totally anonymous trading. Variety of coins, centralized exchanges, offer no match to DEXs in this category. In order for a new coin to be listed on a centralized exchange, it must be approved by the exchange. The exchange is a gatekeeper. So there you have it. If you're a beginner, you may want to stick with the basics. Coinbase, KuCoin, Binance, etc. I have a few linked down in the description if you're interested in one of those exchanges. But if you're well-versed in cryptos and a little bit tech savvy, it may be time to make the switch and start saving money. The really exciting thing about all of this is that it starts here but there's no reason why this couldn't be used in stocks or any other transaction of assets. This is really monumental stuff. So that's gonna do it for today. Make sure you check out the various links down in the description. Join the Patreon if you want more like this, you want buy alerts, you want a community built around investors, join that Patreon. Check out the links below. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.